Greetings, I am Dr. Jamila Codrington of EWA, the Integrated Wealth Alliance, and I am your resident mental health practitioner. I am a licensed psychologist in New York State, and I am also the founder and CEO of Asili Services. Asili is a Kiswahili word, which means origin or the seed. And I share that with you because it really speaks to the orientation in which I work, uh, in which I serve. I am an African-centered psychologist, and I believe that we have what we need at our core to heal ourselves. And so I work as an architect to bring forth one's own self-healing. I tap into the deep well of traditions uh, that we have as a people, uh, whether it be our uh, spirituality, our cultural arts. I tap into um, our capacity for creative genius and our ability to um, be innovative and to make a way out of no way uh, as resources for healing. I actually specialize in children, adolescents, and families. I've been uh, working with that population for nearly 20 years. Uh, but in my private practice, I also see many adults. I work with couples. I work with uh, individuals uh, that are working to strengthen their co-parenting relationship. I also hold space uh, for healing circles and virtual gatherings. I serve organizations uh, that are interested in moving the needle when it comes to anti-racist practices uh, and equity. I am really focused on uh, ensuring that the way that we define healing and the therapeutic process is in alignment with our divine self. So one of the things that I often get asked in my practice is how do I know uh, if what's happening in terms of my functioning is normal? Um, is it something that I should be concerned about? And they want to be able to know if it is um, really a, a mental health condition and something that uh, warrants professional mental health uh, treatment or if it's just a phase and, and something that uh, will blow over uh, either for their child as they get older or for themselves as they move through a different season of life. And I often answer that question, not in terms of Western diagnostic criteria, but more so according to uh, who are you when you are your best self, when you are functioning at your highest frequency, and is there a current imbalance? Are you out of alignment with your uh, divine purpose? And so this becomes the barometer uh, for wellness uh, in my eyes. As we move through uh, this COVID season and this pandemic, one of the things that I would say I learned through uh, my practice is that this is an opportunity. Uh, crises are an opportunity for us to engage in a reset, for us to really have uh, what's considered a Sankofa season, where we reach back uh, to our uh, African traditions and we think about those things that have gotten lost along the way, uh, that have been a part of our survival and our resilience in the country uh, for centuries. And we use this as an opportunity to shape shift, uh, to bring those um, African traditions, uh, whether they be uh, coping strategies, whether they be uh, herbal medicine, whether they be um, traditions of, of caring for our mind, body, and spirit, um, and and the the ancestral wisdom that has existed, those um, practices of maintaining uh, strong family ties despite the attack on our humanhood, 
reaching back and and um, helping ourselves um, as individuals, our families, and our communities to really level up uh, in an African-centered way. I am hopeful and optimistic um, because we have always pushed through and survived. There's nothing uh, that we haven't been able to endure. And so resilience is our birthright. And I offer that uh, not only in the season of COVID, but also in your respective uh, seasons of transformation. If there's one thing that I uh, would say as we think about uh, the importance of mental health treatment is um, the question of, do we take better care of our bodies, you know, our aesthetic, uh, than we do our own minds and our own emotions? And oftentimes uh, the answer is yes. Uh, somehow we feel as if emotions and um, our mental state will take care of itself. I see therapeutic work as a emotional multivitamin, something that we must engage in in a preventive manner so that we are always functioning at our highest uh, frequency um, and our vibrational energy is strong. Uh, and so we don't want to wait until crises come upon us to seek help. Uh, we want to do some uh, therapeutic work uh, before we get to that point. And oftentimes having a committed listener, someone can, who can hold space uh, in a caring, loving way, uh, someone who can hold space in a way where you don't have to explain uh, certain Africanisms or um, cultural behaviors, beliefs, uh, the value systems, um, the experiences, the microaggressions that people go through and, and the racism and discrimination uh, that people of African descent often face. Um, it's very important to have a provider that uh, speaks that language. So uh, I hope that uh, this gives you a better sense of who I am as a EWA practitioner, as well as a uh, psychologist. Take great care.